Hi folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed those couple of images that I posted on a moment ago of the Crown's engine houses here at Botalic Mine. I didn't, uh, I didn't really want to talk you through those this evening or spend too much time over there worrying about those as we, we did a long exposure video here not so long ago. So I thought, uh, I thought with, that, with that beautiful light on the engine houses this evening, I thought it was just an ideal opportunity to uh, stop for a moment or two and uh, do a couple of shots of those that I could pop up on the screen for you. So I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, we are in fact this evening out at Batalic, but we are headed for the engine houses there behind me, West Real Owls which as I'm sure many of you will know, is one of my favorite engine houses. So we're just, uh, we're just trekking across from the crowns along the footpath here at the moment towards Wheel Owls. And uh, when we get over there, we'll get set up and uh, we'll have a bit chat about this engine house. So uh, yeah, join me again in a moment. So we've made it up to West Wheel Owls, which is uh, just over here behind me. If I, uh, if I buzz around, you can, you can see the engine house. There she is in all her glory. She is an absolute beauty. This is, um, I'm sure as many of you who have followed my photography will be aware, this is one of my favorite engine houses. Um, she's just absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately today, we're not gonna be able to get too close because there are signs up saying that there are chuffs nesting and breeding in the engine house at the moment, um, and they've actually roped it off. So we won't be going down to the engine house. I've, I've come up here to a, a, a safe distance away to a, a spot that I've used before to compose some images. Um, I think actually this is my first sunset shoot of the year here but um, I did do one towards the end of last summer, I think last September, last October maybe, um, which some of you may re remember seeing. Um, so I've, I've come around here, I've set the camera up already, and um, I'll buzz you around in a second, and we'll have a little chat about the composition. Hey, look at that sky. Look at that sky. That is looking absolutely stunning. Now, if that lights up, we're, we're gonna be in for a treat, but uh, still a minute or two to sunset, yeah, but there is some lovely high altitude cloud around this evening, and that light is just, Beautiful. But let, let me buzz you around and you can have a quick look at the composition that I'm dealing with. So there we go. That's that's pretty much the composition that I'm going to be working with. Um, it's not exact, but I can't seem to get it uh, quite right on the on the phone screen as I can on the camera. Uh, basically, I'm going to use this path coming in from the left hand side as a bit of a leading line uh, towards the engine house, which uh, uh, obviously the, the sun behind there is just blowing that sky out at the moment on the on the camera screen. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be using that path as a lead into the engine house. And then hopefully what we're going to get is some beautiful light and color behind the engine house here as the sky lights when the sun has set. Um, the engine house that you can see to the left hand side of the image is Wheel Edward. Now, I'm sure as well as recognizing this engine house from my own photography, uh, a lot of you will recognize this engine house from the recent BBC series Polduck because this engine house was redressed to act as wheel leisure in, in the series. Um, in fact, I think they did some, some work over at the Crowns as well. Um, to be perfectly honest, I didn't watch the series, so I couldn't really tell you. I'm only repeating what I've read online. But uh, this, this engine house was definitely used in the Polduck series as wheel leisure. Um, so let's see what that sky is going to do. Let's, let's see what happens. We're not far from sunset now. There is a bank of cloud on that horizon again. Um, I don't think it's quite as thick as that bank of cloud that we had the other evening at Cambrai. And we got some beautiful light that evening. So with a bit of luck, this is going to light. As you can see, there is some lovely high altitude cloud up there. I mean, look at that. I mean, if that, if that catches, then we should see some color right the way down along there. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, I'll, let me finish setting the camera up. There's the camera. Uh, let me finish getting this all set up and, um, and then we'll see what we can do. So that's on the set now. And um, unfortunately, we didn't get the light that I was hoping for. Uh, I don't think the color is even gonna pick up through the cloud as it is at the moment. I have taken a couple of images. Um, 
landscape and portrait. There was some, there was a bit of light in there, but not as I'd, I'd hoped. That bank of cloud is quite thick again now. Um, but what I might do in a moment is just move around to the, to the top lane and change the composition and just take another couple of shots face on to the engine house, which changes the whole the whole look of the thing. But um, unfortunately, as I said, that, that light is gone. That color is just not there. So um, yeah, let's let's relocate a moment and, and take a couple of other shots and, and see what we get. So this is typically the other composition that I like to shoot with this engine house, obviously head on to it. Um, and that's because I really like the light coming through the openings in the windows of the engine house itself. Um, unfortunately, that sky behind it tonight, I don't think is really, really going to work with it. But I'm going to take a couple of images anyway. I might get something out of it. Um, so again, I shall shoot this in, in landscape and then I shall shoot it in portrait. Uh, and I shall pop those images up at the end of the video, which... Uh, probably won't be far away now given that the light has faded away quite quite dramatically uh, and there doesn't appear to be any color really coming through beyond sunset um, I would expect to be seeing it by now and it's just not there that that bank of cloud has defeated me yet again it's a bit disappointing but it's still a beautiful location to come out and shoot and and that that light that we had earlier on actually on the the crowns um, more than makes up for that so there we go, there's the camera set up there, look, just there behind me. Um, as you can see, there are a number of visitors to the area this evening. Um, but there's the camera all set up. I, I have taken the, uh, the landscape orientation shot already. Um, so I shall recompose that now into a portrait shot. And then when I've done that, I shall pop those images up at the, at the end of the video. Um, please do like and subscribe. Um, it really helps the channel to grow. And, and again, I really do appreciate you taking the time and effort to watch the videos and to, to hit that little button. So please do like and subscribe to the videos. Um, Hopefully next time we'll have a bit more luck with the, with the sunset and we'll get a bit more light and colour. Um, but like I said before, the, these are the breaks. You, you can't help it. You can be where you want to be, when you want to be, but there's no guarantee as to the weather conditions. Um, again, there's that, that bank of cloud. So anyway, let me take this, uh, this portrait shot uh, and then I'll pop the images on at the end of the video. And uh, I hope to see you all again soon.